fiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Sir Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not stand. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwin? Who are you to question the Council's wisdom? Yes, Lord Chancellor. We may have seldom few options left at this juncture. Do you believe the evidence enough to warrant our complaint? Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to uh, America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your bro brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, 
We need to hurry. Oui, mon général. Avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still. I shall rely on you to be a... call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Gallagher. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square. Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my... New experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Hmm. All gibberish to me. Nicola. Sir Galahad. Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. But inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. 
Essex 84 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Good shot. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting. 